little bit of emergency right 10 minutes before the start the power in the village where i live uh turned off and I, so i don't have electricity i don't have wi-fi i have nothing so i need to plug in from my from my phone which is a little bit unusual to do this kind of calls but i think it's it's working just fine so at least you can see me you can you can hear me and i'm hosting today's uh event uh uh, it's going to be a short session, so I believe we will uh, we will uh, uh, everything like in twenty to thirty minutes. Uh, I will be your host for uh, remaining couple events uh, on Wednesdays later this week, uh, just because my partners are still extremely busy. Uh, so they asked me to 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 host for this week, and later on uh, I believe we, you'll be able to see them again. So uh, just to get started. Uh, 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 technical updates uh, from uh, Daisy site. Everything is on schedule, so I believe later this week we'll be we'll be able to go into testing. So uh, this is uh, pretty much it from my side uh, on a technical uh, on a technical side. So I would I would like uh, to dive in directly into the product because we got back uh, Dr. Anna Becker with us, and uh, uh, she will uh, share with us what's happening on the product side because i know we have a lot of excitement in the field because finally we see some nice profits we can see that the market goes into uh right directions into nice directions and uh, uh dr Anna, could you please uh specify uh on what's happening exactly with the daisy fund right now in the in the maybe in the recent days i know you prepared some, some something to share with us yes um Actually, I always say to my team, first of all, hi, everybody. I always say to my team not to be excited or happy when uh, the market goes into our direction because, you know, it's like a bad curse or something. So, uh, but yes, uh, we were, uh, we took the correct trades uh, to enter the trends and I will share the, uh, uh, Ilya. Yeah, can you share? No. Probably, you yeah. should be able to share because you're oh, co-host. Be yep. uh, only host or panelist. Let me try. You cannot share? No, I cannot share. So let let me talk then. Uh, so uh, uh, same way I showed in uh, uh, previous presentation on Friday, uh, you see that we entered at the very beginning of the trend. Uh, we're still in. We didn't exit on the last uh, uh, drop down. Uh, the market corrected itself, and uh, we entered it with a swing trade, which was uh, a bit before then all the trends started. So we're right on the mark there. Uh, of course, we don't know how it will proceed. If it goes up, we will see the high profits. It will, if it will go down, we will probably uh, stop the trade or reverse. Uh, we expect uh, uh, some period right now of the stagnation, some short period of stagnation. So again, should keep in mind that we are on the long-term schedule. So it's it's really not about today. It's not about tomorrow. It's about uh, the next three months. So, but we see right now four percent in our uh, bottom line. You can enter your Daisy uh, front end and see it. Uh, we made a decision that over the next week and two, we will introduce more and more details of the fund performance. We will add percentages, profits. Uh, 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 we will add uh, elements of separate trades. So you will be able to see more the drill down into the performance. Uh, we are especially excited about DAISY. DAISY itself is a project that we're doing for uh, with artificial intelligence. It's actually what puts, uh, you know, kind of the smile on my face daily because uh, we are uh, doing what we always wanted to do. Uh, we're going into uh, choosing the technology, the latest technologies, whether it's NVIDIA or uh, parts of uh, what type of service that we ask. Or again, we, we, we're doing the full uh, stretch of the decisions. Uh, we finalized the architecture. We finalized uh, uh, the details of each module and uh, uh, the uh, final analyst teams finalized its map. So we are going right, not even right on schedule, we're going very, very fast on uh, uh, launching the DAISY uh, first phase of the development. And uh, uh, what else? The uh, VIP side of the uh, application is ready. So again, uh, whoever have uh, uh, 10 levels purchased, 
can go to the VIP level, can uh, start its own Daisy Alpha, Daisy Beta uh, mini fund under their personal account. Uh, and uh, uh, that's probably it. A white paper comes along uh, fine. Hopefully, again, Friday, we will be able to launch it. Uh, yeah. You didn't leave me room for... You didn't leave me room for any questions, actually, because you touched everything, everything I wanted to ask you. <laughs> so, yes, I mean, many, many, yeah, many people are very excited to see this uh, daily fluctuations, actually, right? Especially when we are in a plus, right? So yeah. when we when we move, let's say, from 4% to 7 or from 8% to 5%, something like this, it's very, very... Now listen, it's, it's, it's uh, kind of a roller coaster. It's, uh, it's I think it's uh, even... It's not that healthy to look at this curve because we were in minus seven. Now we were at plus eight and everything is within a week. So uh, the market is aggressive. We know that it can move within one month, 60%. We will be with it. It can drop down 50% within uh, three, four days. So again, it's it's very hard emotionally to be uh, with this percentages. So you need to a little bit separate yourself from the results and wait patiently whatever happens within these three months and be there. Because again, we, we saw the changes between minus seven and plus eight. And the, the, the goal is to be plus 30, plus 40, plus 50% of, after the end of uh, three months. So let's get there and and that's- Yeah, 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 of course, reason. of course. I mean, we, we, yeah, we teach people about you know about this long term uh, long term vision all the time right so it's it's not like it's not a process of one day or one week we understand this but just because temporarily uh, the daisy crowd section is disabled right so they cannot build so daisy no, I, I understand. that's why we want to add yeah. uh, as much as possible the information about daisy fund so uh, at least you will be able to study and understand how the things work inside and i hope it will bring additional you know trust level uh, to the community about how we do things. So it's yes. terrible yes. next weekend too. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So later this week we 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 will we will be waiting for release of long weighted uh, white paper, right? Is that correct? I agree. I agree. Yes. Uh, yeah, many, many people they look forward actually to reading this white paper. So although Probably most of people they will not understand what it is about because it's going to be a little bit techy, right? But I know you told us. A little bit techy, yes. We're putting the parts where it will be easy to read. So again, yeah. it's, I hopefully that people will enjoy it. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. And then later on, probably we'll uh, yeah we will translate this also from English into major languages, right? Because we have huge community in in multiple markets. So we, we just start from English. Okay, Doctor. Thank you for your time. Thank you for thank your. Thank you. Thank uh, you. For, yes. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. So we'll move into into next part. Uh, so I believe I know you're very busy. So if you want to leave, uh, it's it's okay for you. Uh, yeah. And uh, the next part. Uh, uh, I would like to introduce a couple of gentlemen uh, from UK and from Ireland. So these are very, very strong leaders. And the reason why we call this uh, this uh, uh, Zoom sessions uh, leadership calls is because every day we want to invite two leaders uh, from uh, from different teams uh, because all our business is based on uh, strong leadership, right? So we are in leadership business. Without leaders, we would uh, uh, not be able to. Uh, reach uh, any targets, any goals. I mean, uh, the whole business model is based on leadership, right? So that's why it's uh, extremely important to uh, to hear to uh, leaders uh, to get some uh, strong uh, insights and uh, wisdom, actually, right, from, from, from directly from them. Uh, so the first uh, gentleman I'd like to invite uh, is uh, uh, Avinash. Uh, so Avinash is a, a great leader uh, who has been doing a lot of uh, job for uh, Daisy community, uh, giving presentations and uh, uh, teaching people about Daisy business. Uh, Avinash, we really appreciate you. So uh, I know that you coming from a traditional uh, business background. I know you've been in network marketing for five years, and uh, I know you've been in crypto industry for a very long time, uh, specifically, right? So uh, I believe uh, the, the your long crypto journey uh, led you uh, to 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 Daisy, where you are eventually, and uh, uh, I hope that uh, you're happy to be with us. And uh, uh, please uh, take it over from here. And please, uh, I know you prepared some some uh, some uh, short uh, speech about the mindset, right, uh, in in the industry. So how how important to have uh, uh, how it is important to have right mindset for this kind of business. So Vinash, please uh, take it over. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ilya, for the introduction. 
and welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, good morning from London, UK here. It's actually been snowing outside. It's cold, but it's all great. Um, look, I, I want to share a few, a few things before we hand it over to another incredible leader who's got an amazing, amazing topic to cover. And by the time I hand it over, you'll understand why it's ultimately important that right now, anyone from your team who's not on the call yet, you get them on the team before this gentleman come on. Because this gentleman is going to break down really how and what you should be doing during this period and how to capitalize on what's happening. And I've seen him do this before. He is incredible. So take it from me that you want to make sure you get your whole team on this call. Now, this brings me to something. Today, I, my part, I want to talk to you as businessmen and businesswomen. I don't want to talk to you as network marketers. I want to talk to you as a CEO. But the, C the meaning of CEO would depend on you. You are the CEO of your life. You're the CEO of your own business, of your daisy business. But here's something I want to ask you. What would we give right now to be among the first people, the first pioneers to be part of projects like Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Google, Microsoft? What I mean is, what would you give to have realized the power of those businesses at the early stage. But every single one of those, I can assure you, came with a challenge. Who wouldn't like to be to own shares in Amazon right now? Well, Amazon launched, was founded in July 1994. But right, let's face it. In the early years of Amazon, you could buy shares for $1, just over $1. Today, it's over $3,300. Let me say this again. The shares of Amazon was available for just over $1. Today, it's over $3,300. Let's face it. We would be lying to ourselves if we said we wouldn't have liked to be part as a pioneer to know of Amazon, to be part of Amazon, to invest in Amazon. Wait something for you. In July 1994, Amazon was founded. Great. Did you know that the first book, the first book Amazon ever sold was not until July 1995? One year and six days from the time Amazon was founded till the time the first book was sold. Here's my question to you. If you had the opportunity to be part of Amazon, would you sitting, would you be sitting there saying, oh my God, we haven't sold anything, we haven't sold anything, we haven't sold anything, and quit? Or would you have kept going? See, it's easy today to say you would have kept going. The question is, what would you have done back then? But you have an opportunity to change that. Whatever you would have done back then, you have realized that any pioneering stage come with a certain challenge. Now, I say challenge. It's a challenge for some people. I said, I want to talk to you as a CEO. And there's two meanings of CEO. Right now, what's happening in DAISY, some people see it as a challenge. These are the CEOs who are called chief excuse officer. Chief excuse officer, because they're always looking for an excuse. Let me ask you this. The people who keep coming to you saying, oh, why we haven't launched it? When are we launching? Every single day. Oh, I think they're not going to launch. Oh, I saw this article. Oh, I saw this. That's because you've been giving excuses from the start. When there was a start date and then it was changed, oh, why is it delayed? When it launched on time, but the system wasn't fully ready, or oh, why did we launch? Hold on a second. The previous thing you said was, why is it delayed? When it finally launched, you said, why did it launch? Why was it not delayed further? Well, which one do you want? You see, a chief excuse officer always has an excuse for absolutely everything. They will always have an excuse ready. They always have 
a problem for a solution. They always have problems for solution. Well, here's the people that's going to maximize the time, who's going to benefit the most. Why is it that this is exactly the same opportunity as it is for me, for you here who we have on this call, for every other leader, as it is for you? Why is it that some people would come out of this making historical figures, will come out of this changing their life forever? Whereas some people would do good, but maybe not as good. Maybe not as good as they hoped they could have done. That's because they're focused on the problem instead of the solution. They're part of the problem instead of the solution. Well, the solution is quite simply this. Right now, you have more time. You have more time. And that's why I say get your team on this call because the person who's going to come in next is going to explain to you exactly how to maximize from the time that you have. And I want to share a small story with you. You see, I have people right now who are so grateful, so thankful that we have delayed. But you got to remember, Daisy is the same Daisy it was when you made a decision to get started. That hasn't changed. Endotech is still the same Endotech. Dr. Anna Becker is still the same Dr. Anna Becker. The smart contract, the compensation plan is exactly the same. That hasn't changed. If anything has changed, it's in here. It's the perspective from which you're looking at the situation. I want to share this story and I'm going to hand it to this gentleman because I can't wait to take notes. I can't wait to hear from this gentleman cover this topic. You see, on a, today, today is Monday morning, but I'm going to use a Sunday. On a fine Sunday morning, in a train, we used the underground tube in London, going towards central London. There was just a few people in. You know, very, very quiet carriage, a few people. And a couple of the ladies were sitting down reading a book. A gentleman was there just scrolling through his phone. And the train reached the next station. And a gentleman came in with three kids, quite loud and noisy. And, you know, the gentleman straight away went to one corner. And the kids were running around making noise. One of the kids was even hitting one of the women's bag. And everyone, suddenly the whole piece had gone that they had in that carriage in the train. And everyone was looking at this father thinking, what a bad father. He's not even paying attention to the kids being noisy, being loud all around, being messy. And in fact, he turned and saw one of the child hitting the lady's handbag, but even say anything. To the point, one of the gentlemen got annoyed. He got up, he went and tapped the man on the shoulder. And he said, excuse me, I think you need to have a look at what your kids are doing. You are such an irresponsible parent for letting your child disturb everyone in this carriage. And as the gentleman turned around, he was crying. There was tears coming down his eyes and everyone had agreed with this person who went up to him to stand up to him and say, hey, you need to look after your kids. Everyone in this carriage agreed. And then when they saw he was actually crying, everyone started doubting whether they were right because now they're not sure what the situation is. And when he explained <clears throat> that moments before getting <clears throat> onto the train, he had just gotten news that his wife had been in an accident and died on the spot. Suddenly, everyone's perspective of what was happening, the situation that was happening, totally changed. Now, everyone was ready to empathize with the gentleman, with the children, because suddenly their behavior became understandable. The reason I share this story with you is you've got to choose what perspective you want to look at Daisy, what perspective you want to look at the extra time that you have, whether you want to be the chief excuse officer 
or you want to be the chief example officer leading by example, leading your team by example, because here's the thing. Your team can only follow if you're leading. Your team can only follow if you're leading. So if you find out that your team are not doing what you want them to do, what you wish for them to do, is because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not making the most of the time that Daisy allowed us. Like I said, I've got leaders who are so thankful and grateful for two reasons. One, I have a leader, uh, Ilya knows this as well, that had their wallet hacked. And the extra time that we got allowed us to be able to do take the necessary step to get their wallet back. And I can assure you, if Daisy had already relaunched, we would never have been able to do that. We have other leaders who are really grateful because they realize they can make the most of this time to go into the aspect of Daisy, which is the most powerful if you really want to maximize from everything you want to maximize your residual income in daisy well you need to become part of the pace setter goal and the pace setter leadership that is what the most important and strongest part of daisy is and for that and that specifically today we have a great leader an incredible leader who's going to bring to you exactly what to do and how to maximize your time to qualify for pace setter. And before we introduce this gentleman, I'm going to hand it back to Ilya so we can introduce this gentleman properly to you guys and we will let him take this away. Have your notes ready. Make sure your whole team is on this call. If they miss it because of time zones, make sure they get a copy of the recording because I'm telling you this gentleman is going to bring the fire. So over to you, gentlemen. Thank you very much to you. I'm looking forward to your training. I can't wait to take notes. Ilya, thank you very much for the invite. It's always a humbling. It's a pleasure. Uh, and I look forward to, to being on these calls more often. Thank you very much. Thank you, Avinash. I think what you just shared is very, very important also because the correct mindset and uh, uh, is uh, is something that everybody needs to think about. Yes. So, so everybody can choose between which CEO they want to become, right? So if they want to go after excuses or go after uh, examples, actually become example and lead people. So this is extremely important. Uh, thank you, Avinash. Uh, uh, it was very inspiring. And uh, the next lead I would like to invite today is uh, Mr. Uh, Hugh Paul from, from Ireland. So this gentleman, actually, he's a legend in the industry. So whenever he starts to talk, everybody gets quiet. Everybody is listening because he uh, can teach you something that nobody else can teach. Uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Hugh Paul, uh, please uh, take it over, and we are we are ready to listen to to your training about the pace setters, right? Today. Yes, uh, thank you very much, and uh, it's a, it's a privilege to be on the call this morning uh, to share with Dr. Anna and uh, the great leaders in a fantastic session there by. <laughs> Dr. Anna was going to talk about the results that are available in your back office, and that's a very important component for uh, our passive members. Passive in this industry, um, where people are expecting deep profits, that's not what we've got here. We've got real life trading. <laughs> that's why it's very important, I believe, to probably try and focus on your income from the building the crowd side, if you can rely uh, your lifestyle coming from the crowd side, then you can leave the wealth creation to come from the contribution side in the DAISY fund. So that's the way I'm, I'm positioning it, even though uh, the passive side is amazing. And we've had um, examples of that already since Dr. Anna has started trading in the DAISY for our new members to understand what they might be doing in the next uh, few days we soft launch this. Uh, there is a 100 euro contribution, 50% goes to the crowd. And maybe you're one of those $100 uh, contributors. But if you can, in the meantime, put together the funds in Tron, ready for launch, uh, into either the, the Tier two, tier three, tier four, right up to tier seven. If you can make that move right now, this is the timing you've been 
afford it to, to do that. And I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, because it's 50-50. 50 goes to the better trade account and the other 50 goes to the crowd side. The little black line on the screen, that's for the higher achievers. And that's down to, um, if you can go tier 8, 9, and 10, then these contributions move at 7 um, to the trading side and 30%, of course, goes to the crowd. You can also see the share allocation, the equity allocation that you're going to get when uh, when this goes to the marketplace. So with her best intentions, with the right market conditions, it's Endotech's, uh, I suppose, desire to take this to the market. And if those conditions are correct, we're looking at some time uh, probably towards the end of next year. Uh, but that will be dependent on the conditions. Of course, the equity is also a very important wealth creation uh, not just, uh, just not just the trading, but the wealth creation provided, like Avanish talked about there, being an early adopter, an early pioneer in the likes of a Google or in the likes of an Amazon. Here, every hundred dollar contribution gives you and your family one piece, one share in five percent of the equity. The other five percent in the equity is reserved for the pay setters, and that's what I'm talking about in a moment. Now, what I've done is I've, I've actually captured the early trading uh, rewards from tier 10 contributors. And you can see it's date stamped here, like back just three or four days ago, the amount for withdrawal here was $1,800 passively from the trading. So whilst you're waiting for the launch, Dr. Anna's not waiting, Dr. Anna's team's not waiting, the scientists, the software, the robots, the machines, the technology, the experience of 20 years is going in to those funds to do their best possible job. But please remember the ups and the downs. Don't watch this every day. It will it will play that emotional roller coaster in your head, and that's not good. Even without Daisy, if you look at the price of Bitcoin when it hits forty thousand, it drops to thirty-seven thousand. It goes to thirty-eight thousand. You're playing a mind game. It's up and it's down. That's the same for trading. So just play the long-term game on this. Now that was very good for the fourteenth of February. And on the 15th of February, that uh, passive reward, let's call it passive trading reward from the Daisy Crowd Fund had grown over $700 overnight. And then the next day, it had grown up to $4,500 overnight for a passive contributor, a tier 10 contributor got these rewards. And that's why you might think in this time, this waiting time is you develop as much as you can for that contribution. If you're tier four, please try and upgrade tier five. If you're tier seven, best to upgrade to tier eight. And of course, if you can go tier nine, to tier 10. Now, once you do tier 10, office, you'll be able to see that there's now that VIP opportunity. And ladies and gentlemen, when you think about this, this gives you the ability to get the benefit from institutional trading. You see, normally you would probably need somewhere in the region of a million dollars to enter that marketplace. It's reserved for the rich. It's reserved for the elites. It's reserved for the banking industry. It's reserved for the institutions. That's who gets to participate in those markets. But here you and I, Ordinary families around the world can change their circumstances based on their contribution. And even if it's only $100 or $200 or $400, over time you can upgrade. And hopefully at that point, the VIP opportunity is still available. It may not always be available. But right now, tier 10 contributors can go VIP. What does that mean? It means, ladies and gentlemen, that Dr. Anna Becker will integrate through an API yeah, a little piece of technology will go straight to your Binance or to your uh, exchange, and she will trade there directly. A hundred percent amazing opportunity in itself. So really what I want to talk about in this session is num but number two, let's focus on the pay setter bonuses. There are three uh, parts to the pay setter. The first part is this. 
depending on how you qualify in your first 30 days, the software will pick up that position. I'll give you an example. Let's say after 30 days, you had made three personal referrals, just three, and the contributions from three or more was $1,000. The software would recognize that and it would open up the <laughs> By the same token, after 30 days, if you have, say, 21 referrals made, and the total contribution of those 21 referrals was $64,000, the software would automatically open the 10th generation, meaning you had the ability to receive 4% of 59,049 contributions from somewhere in the world. That's what it does. It opens up the commissions available on the next generation. Whatever you do in 30 days, you pay for your business. So that's very, very important. The next part of the pay setter bonus is this. It's for the high achievers. Every single being a high Achiever is nothing more, nothing more than a decision. I'm going gold pay setter. I'm going leadership pay setter. It's simply a decision because the mechanics and the mathematics are the same for everyone. For Abanish, for Ilya, for Jeremy, for everybody, Edward, everybody in the community, the mathematics is the same. 24 directs, not 23. Not 12, 24 or more direct with a total contribution of $128,000 in tier contributions. That qualifies you for the gold pay center and you must do it in your first 30 days. Now, that's what Avanish was talking about. You have a period of time now to prepare, to prepare that team contact. And you should be working every day and possibly every spare hour of every day to achieve that. And that's what a lot of the early adopters did when we pre-launched the system. The people that achieved that, they weren't lucky. People will say the story, you were lucky. You did that because you were in first. No, 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 no. Everybody on this call is in first. Everybody listening to this recording is in first. In fact, everybody this year, 2021, is in first. It's not anything to do with when you join. It's all to do with what you do when you join. Okay, so it's not when you join, it's what you do when you join. And if you're hearing this right now and you're gonna make a, a decision to get started, fantastic, you can do this. If you've been in for this last three weeks and you haven't taken the action, to achieve this, you have plenty of time even before we launch this and through those first 30 days to achieve this. And then you do this 24 personal direct dollars of contribution, you share in what I call the global spillover. Spillover, ladies and gentlemen, is a myth. Spillover is something that you should achieve. But if you want to achieve what I call global spillover from every contribution on the planet, imagine this. Imagine getting Amazon stock in 1994. And imagine getting a share of every order that every Amazon customer made since then. Because that's the opportunity. Paysetter gives you a slice, gives your family a piece of every contribution worldwide, upline, downline, sideline, crossline, doesn't matter who, every single contribution hits your wallet. Because the software, and one of the reasons for the delay was the software, the calculation of this very exciting bonus was timing out. It had to run through all the data. It had to check every qualifier. It had to take every contribution and assign 1.8% of that contribution to the qualifiers. And now that's been corrected. And now that's going to test as we uh, go to roll this up again. Now, for these pay setters, these what we call the 
gold pay setters. You just don't get that. Amazing. You also share in the other 5% equities given by endotech. Everybody that contributes, the other 5%, ladies and gentlemen, that's reserved for the gold pay setters. That. Can you imagine on every withdrawal, every withdrawal from the endotech side, from the DAISY fund, that generates another commission for you and your family. And that's an equal share in 1.25% of the withdrawals. It's amazing. The next part of the pay setter is what we call our leadership bonus. And that's quite simple as well. Whether or not you achieve what I've just said, provided you can refer three people out of your entire community, three people, you then you jump into this bonus. So you can, you can miss the first one and then catch this one, or you can collect the first one and catch this one as well. So if I was talking to a friend, a neighbor, somebody on the street, maybe somebody across Zoom, if you don't have the, the PowerPoint skills, if you don't have the documentation, how would you represent this message to, to, to someone on Zoom? I use what's called a flip chart. Very, very simple piece of apparatus. If you want to get one, they're not expensive. And if you can write on a piece of paper, this can be illustrated quite easy. And what I do is I go back. It's a bit like Avanish talking about um, the, the Amazon stock way back in 1994. Well, a way back, a way, way, way back in January 2021, there was an opportunity, yeah, an opportunity called DAISY. And in its very early days of adoption, it generated in contributions in around $20 million in the first few opening hours, maybe the first day. In the first three to five days, the total contributions was 50 million. But in that first day, that first get-go day, there was approximately $20 million of crowdfunding contributions put towards the DAISY crowd. Now, we know the two pay setter bonuses. We've got the gold pay setter bonus, and we've got the leadership pay setter bonus. I've just spoken about those in slide presentation. But what about the people that want to learn how to scribble? How do you explain it? Well, it's very, very simple. We know that 1.8% of the total contributions are assigned to the gold pacer. And we also know that 1.8% of the total contributions are assigned to the leadership pay setter. If you do the math, 1.8% of the total revenue in that period of time, it was $360,000. So that means the pool the pool contributions, the pool rewards is $360,000 in each of the two pools. Now this decision lies with you. Which of the two pools, or maybe both of the two pools, would you like to benefit from? You see, that's not Dr. Anna Becker's decision. That's not Jeremy Romo's decision. That's not Ilya's decision. It's your decision. Which or both of these two would you like to enjoy the benefit from? Let's calculate the benefit. We know that there's approximately 120 pay setters in the whole world, okay? So it's for high achievers, and you can be a high achiever. But in the first day, there wasn't 120. There was in around 80 people that qualified pay setter. We know that there was about six people did the leadership side so let's work out the maths. Let's see, is the effort worth the reward? What effort will you put in, in these coming days before we launch? Let's check the effort. 80 into $360,000, because that's what's available, paid the gold pay setters in or around $4,500 in day one. Not a bad payday. Not a bad payday, but I want you to understand, even though it occurred in one day, it wasn't achieved. 
it took maybe a whole week of people's effort to put the business in place. Because we know we need 24 directs and $128,000 of contribution. That's the effort. The reward was $4,500 in day one. Now, of course, an additional $30 million came in in contributions. So you can imagine what the pay setters were getting on every single contribution. Just think about that. And for the life of Daisy, for the life of Daisy, there's the expression, imagine every contribution worldwide hits your wallet. It hits your wallet. Why? Because you rolled up your sleeves. Because you set the family aside part-time to apply your efforts, your greatest effort to achieve this bonus. And you got the prize. That's the prize, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what about this side of the equation? The leadership bonus. Well, there was only about six people did it. That tells you how special these, these people are. Six into 360 give these guys a reward of somewhere in or around $60,000 in day one. $60,000, why? Because there's less people going to do this that are going to do that. Because the effort is this, it's not about your personal effort anymore, it's about your leadership, it's about your mindset, it's about who can you help. If you can help enough people achieve what they want, of course you're going to get what you want. So if you want to get into the leadership bonus, all you need to do is find three people that are willing to go to work and do that. You help three people do this, you get that reward. Now, if that's not enough, and that's plenty, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to think about one last thing. The other part of the qualification gives you a share in 1.25% of the withdrawals. 1.25% of the withdrawals. Well, we know if 20 million comes in, can you imagine what Dr. Anna Becker is going to do with that? Can you imagine how she's going to improve that? She's going to turn that 20,000 to 40,000? Maybe the, or sorry, 20 million to 40 million? 40 million to 80 million? If the technology, if the AI, if the robots and the machines could do their job on the markets, well, the 1.25% is going to be a much bigger reward than the 1.8% because this number is going to be much, much bigger on the exit. Because as people withdraw their profits, you also share in 1.25%. And if that's not enough, what about a share in an additional 5% of Endotech's equity? That's the proposition. That's the effort. That's the reward. It's up to you. I hope you find that beneficial. I hope you employ it in your strategies in the weeks ahead. I hope you enjoy the benefits from this illustration, and I hope it changes your family's life. Thank you very much. Back to you, Ilya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think this was probably the best presentation on the pay setters. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. And uh, and yes, I mean, I, uh, I think you explained it like everything very clean in a, in a very clean message. So the way the way it works, all all the bonuses, uh, amount of money that can be made not only in the front end but on the back end because this is this was done by design. And I know that the true leaders and networkers, everybody is looking for residual income, not one time bonus, but the bonuses that will pay once again and again and again and again so this is very very important for everyone for everybody to understand thanks uh, for your time thank you for your presentation so uh, thank you Avinash, also for your presentation i appreciate you guys uh, so because today i mean we wanted to make it a little bit shorter so obviously it took long when we listen to leaders you know time goes very very fast <laughs> so uh, i believe next calls uh, this week also may take more than half an hour as we planned so uh so thank you guys uh, for your time and uh, please come back to us on wednesday same time uh, 8 uh, a.m utc uh and uh, friday we will also have one more session so we try to to make more sessions for you guys just uh, to keep you busy to keep you updated uh, because uh, many people they just ask us uh, please please uh, provide us some content you know please come up and uh, tell us something because i know how it is uh, just to not, not get updated 
in this situation, right? When when we uh, unfortunately uh, are not able to actually build as of today, right? But again, it takes probably extra uh, one week or maybe 10 days. And uh, in the end of the day, we will launch. And then uh, you guys probably will remember the story that was shared by Avinash about Amazon, about Google. So we uh, believe that we're building together with leaders, together with everybody, we're uh, building legacy here. And building legacy is not so easy. It always takes a lot of efforts. It always takes a lot of time. And uh, uh, what important to understand is nothing has been changed, just like Avinar said. The pay plan is the same. Dr. Anna is the same. Uh, AI is working just exactly the same way it was uh, It was supposed to work from the beginning. So everything is the same. We're just waiting for, for reopening uh, the doors uh, for you guys. And uh, it's a matter of actually a few more days, not to say one, two weeks. So I don't want to commit in, into any, any dates. So we might have a technical update later on also this week. So we will see maybe, uh, maybe Mr. Alexey, who was already on our previous call. So maybe he will be able to, to, to share some technical updates with you guys as well. Thank you very much uh, for your time today. So see you on a Wednesday and have a nice day or evening, depending on where you are. Bye-bye.